I'm going to be opening more rolls of pennies for a hunt and fill. We only found three wheat pennies so far. To 1967, Philadelphia. We got a 1959, Denver. We got a 1963, Denver. We got a 1961, Philadelphia. We got a 1969, Denver. I see a Canadian right here. The 1982 Canadian penny. This is a 1969 San Francisco. I believe that's the first San Francisco minted penny from this box. There's a lot of copper on top there. Other than that, it's a lot of newer coins. Let's see what we got in here. That's a lot more copper than the previous roll. We got another 2009 Denver. We still only have three wheat pennies in the box so far. I almost missed this. It's a 2009 Philadelphia. We got a 1968 Denver. After this roll, we only have 13 more in the box. We got 1969 Denver. It was just a minor upgrade, but we are gonna be upgrading the 1982 Zinc Small Date. We got a 1964 Denver and a 1969 Philadelphia. We got a 1968 Denver. We got a 1966 Philadelphia. And we got a 1968 Denver. Look at this. This one is very damaged. I think it's 74. This coin actually weighs 2.9 grams. I'm actually going to save it. I might take it into a coin shop and ask them about it. We got a 1962 Denver. We got a 1966 Philadelphia. We got a 1967 Philadelphia. We got 1964, Denver, and we got 1961, Philadelphia. After this roll, there's only nine more rolls in the box. We got 1964, Philadelphia. We got 1960, Denver. We got 1969, Denver. And we got a 1959, Philadelphia. If this is one year older, it would have been a wheat penny. We got 1968, Denver. I just wanted to show you what I found when I was doing the sort. 
I found the wheat penny in the last two rolls. It must have been date side up because I didn't see it. It's a 1952 Denver.